Hello YouTube, it's your favorite dance wear. Big old sandwich right there. Oh yeah. Mm. That's gonna be good, I'm telling you. That's gonna be good. Um sitting on another property that uh, I do maintenance on. Let's see if I can get this phone up here where it where it can still see me. There we go. And uh, it was lunchtime. And I haven't had a Subway sandwich in forever. I mean, ever and ever. <clears throat> what I've come to realize about Subway sandwiches is they make them so damn big that it's hard to get your, uh, I'm trying to figure out a way to set this phone in this van so it'll stay in one place. Um, it's hard to get your mouth around the uh, sandwich because they're so damn big. Um, well, shit, this isn't working. This is not working at all for me, I'm telling you. It's just not working today. I don't know where to set this damn thing. I don't have my little sticky thing with me. So I'm having a real difficult time trying to figure out how to set this up so that I can eat my damn sandwich. <laughs> Nothing's working. It doesn't want to do anything that I want it to do. It wants to do what it wants to do, and that's all there is to it. Hey, we'll try it right there. Anyway, um, talk about frustration with dentures. How about frustrations with phones? <laughs> How about we talk about that? Um, the hardest part of a Subway sandwich is you've got to really open your mouth up wide. Now you notice where I keep my fingers. Just like I... The video I made of eating hot dogs. I use my fingers as a guide of how big a bite I can take. Now for a long time, If I ate a Subway sandwich, it had to be just bread and meat, and that was it. Maybe some cheese, because I couldn't bite through anything else. So, of course, now... Having the ability to bite through the lettuce and spinach and bell peppers and pickles and olives and all of that, wow, what a difference. Still a messy damn process, though. But it's still really fucking good. Love my Subway sandwiches. Mm. And of course, got to have my coffee. Now, I did my morning glue in yesterday. And about 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon, I tried to eat a Subway sandwich. And I couldn't because the teeth still weren't, top denture still wasn't glued in good enough. And uh, 
it kept breaking loose. The glue hadn't set up at all. And I think that's mainly a cause of me drinking so much during the day that that liquid gets up behind that pallet and it won't let that glue set up. So again, I'm gluing at night. Um, I don't drink anything at night, therefore the glue has plenty of time to set up and I can enjoy stuff like this. Now you have to remember, the teeth on your dentures is not as sharp as your normal teeth. And you really can't put as much power on as you can with your real teeth. So on occasion... You may have to do that to get through something, and that's okay. I see people with real teeth doing the same thing. Mmm. Oh my god. I love my subways. When you see somebody taking a bite, even with real teeth, a lot of times you'll see them bite down two or three times to get through that whatever they're eating. Especially a Subway sandwich. First of all, it's huge. So when you initially start to take a bite, it's hard because your mouth is way open. And your teeth are lower, your teeth are bigger than normal teeth. In other words, you got plastic over your gum and then you got teeth. So you're thicker than you would be if you just had normal teeth. That makes it more difficult. When I first started making videos, I stressed practice at home. And I mean that. Now, when I got to where I could eat everything, and I wasn't worried about practicing at home anymore, something like this, I don't mind if I screw up a little bit when I'm look when I'm trying to eat it. Like I said yesterday, I couldn't eat one at all. It ended up sitting in the refrigerator. I mean, I gave it to a friend of mine last night because he came over and he was hungry and and I didn't have anything else in the house to eat, so I ended up giving him that. But the point I'm trying to make is that even something like this If you can eat a hamburger, you can eat this. Now, this is a little more difficult in the sense that I put a shit ton of vegetables on here. Vegetables are the hard part to bite through. Where it's just meat and bread, simple. But I'm trying really hard to get more and more vegetables because I haven't eaten them in years.
and I'm also eating less. You remember the Swiss trick. Yeah. So because I'm getting more vegetables, and vegetables take longer to digest, I'm actually eating less. And that's not to say I'm not going to continue to be a carnivore, because I always will. <laughs> Before I got my dentures, I'd go out and buy a one-foot sandwich, devour the whole thing, and I would actually still be hungry. Now, with the amount of vegetables I'm putting on a sandwich, I eat a six-inch. And that actually fills me up just fine. And I think the other thing, too, is I'm getting healthier physically. My heart's feeling better. I'm getting healthier physically. Um, all that rot, disease, decay, everything is gone, so my body's not fighting that so hard. Um, so I don't need as much energy. So I'm eating less. But, also, I'm actually eating three meals a day now. That was a good sandwich. Mm. So, because I'm eating three meals a day, my digestive system is working longer throughout the day. And digesting the food better, more properly. Well, there you have it, folks. Eating a loaded up Subway sandwich with dentures. This is your favorite denture wearer, signing off. Hope you all have a fantastic day out there. I'm glad these videos are helping. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And don't be afraid to send me a message or an email. Have a great day. If I can get this thing to shut off now. <laughs>